Hello, Dave Prouse here with the Network Plus question of the day for December 13th, 2016. And the question is, what is wrong with the IP configuration of the main Ethernet adapter in the figure? Feel free to pause the video and take a look. And what we have here is the Ethernet adapter up here, and it's called Ethernet. That's the default name. This is a Windows 10 computer, so that's the default name. You can change it if you wish, but that's going to be the default on systems. And so what's wrong with the configuration? Well, we can see we have an issue with the third octet of the IP address and default gateway. The IP address shows the third octet as 0, and the default gateway is showing it as 1. Well, if we look at our network documentation, we can find out what network number we should be on. And the network number we should be on is 192.168.0. So the gateway address has been configured incorrectly. And that's common. You might see the gateway address off by a number. So we need to reconfigure this so that the system will work properly. Now, we can ping other computers because the IP address is actually on the right network. And in fact, we could ping the default gateway. If we were to do a ping space 192.168.0.1, we will get replies, which is cool. You know, you can actually still connect to other systems manually. But if you're trying to browse to the internet or do other things that are what a regular user would do, then that's not going to work well because we don't have the gateway address set up properly. So we need to change that. And there's a couple ways to change that. We can change that in the GUI. And so, for example, we could go to the Network and Sharing Center from your notification area or from the control panel, go to Change Adapter Settings, and find that uh, adapter that is causing the issue or has the incorrect configuration. And in this case, it's called Ethernet. Right-click it, go to Properties. That brings up the Ethernet Properties dialog box. We go to Internet Protocol Version 4, go to Properties, and then we can change that information here, and you can see that incorrect default gateway address. Or you could do it in the command prompt. And you'd have to be in the command prompt as an administrator, so you have to make sure you're in elevated mode. But uh, you could do it from here, and since we just did the IP config anyway from here, you know, why not change it from the command prompt? So here's our C prompt. And we could use the net sh command. And you could either go into the shell by typing net sh and then do more configurations from there. Or you could just type the entire command on one line. And so you could change the gateway address by using the net sh interface IP set address, that's set address, then name equals, and you need to know the name of the adapter, in this case, Ethernet, space, gateway equals. And we need to know the correct gateway address. Now, the problem with this is it'll only change the gateway address. So if we press Enter, you get no error here, which is good. That means you've typed your code correctly. If you get an error, you have to look into it, see exactly what happened. You, have to, you need to make sure that you type everything correctly, NetSH, interface, IP, set address, name of the adapter, and so on. But if we do an IP config again and take a look, see what happens here. The default gateway is now correct, but look what happens. A PIPA set in. Automatic private IP addressing gave us a 169.254 address. Yeah, we don't want that. So whenever you're configuring your IP, you want to try to configure as much as you can within uh, with the net sh command. So, for example, we could do net sh space interface IP set address name equals Ethernet. And then we could add additional information, for example, the IP address that it should be using. And to do that, we would do address equals, and that's going to be 192.168.0.202, because we don't want that APIPA address, of course. You could also type in the mask, which is going to uh, should come up by default. And I am using a default class C 
classful address, you know, you could do mask equals 255.255.255.0. I'm just going to leave that out though. And then gateway. And again, the correct gateway 192.168.0.1. Look at the code, make sure it's all correct. Press enter. No GNU's is good GNU's, meaning no error here. And so if we press uh, type IP config or just hit the up arrow and take a look, we see 192.168.0.202. And gateway 192.168.0.1 looks good. We could also do an IP config slash all and check the additional information for Ethernet. Now, the DNS server IP is correct. I did not change that, but you could modify that with the net sh command as well. But everything else looks good here. So we should be able to get onto the internet and do everything else. And we can uh, test that by doing a quick example, ping example.com. And we're getting replies from the IPs there. Use whatever domain you want that you know will be up. And we see that DNS resolution is working. So we know that the DNS is uh, correct. And we know our gateway address is working. So everything should be good now. And so that was the uh, net sh command, which is really a good command to know. Uh, the whole shell, you know, you work in the shell and there's a ton of stuff you can do with the network shell. And this is just one little example of that. So the problem was that the gateway address was configured improperly. And we showed how to fix that within the GUI, within the IP properties sheet, and also with the net sh command or the network shell. So that's it. That's it for this video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at my website, www.davidlprouse.com. See you at the next one.